Hello, and welcome to the virtual help desk at Red Lion Controls. In this session, we will be discussing the basics of linear scaling, targeting customers that own and operate our PAX meters and IM series of analog input meters. An analog signal is based on level, whereas a digital signal is based on frequency or pulses. Some examples of analog signals are temperature, voltage, current, strain gauge, and process signals, such as a 4 to 20 milliamp or 0 to 10 volt signal. Linear scaling of an analog signal is the most common type of scaling you can use to display a value different than your input. Linear scaling consists of four points, a low and high point of your input signal and a low and high point of your display reading. Two tips to use before programming your meter is one, always start with your low point signal and work up. Also, make sure to double check your input low and high values so that they are where they should be. When performing linear scaling on an analog input meter, there are two things you need to know. One is, what do you have as an input signal? The other is, what do you want to show in your display reading? Also, you have a choice in which way you would like to properly scale your meter. One way is the key-in method. This method should only be used if the operator knows his exact input values and display readings. The most common way is by using the applied method. This method is used by actually applying the input signal to the meter for scaling rather than programming in any values. Our example shows us having a flow sensor giving off a 4 to 20 milliamp process signal. Our meter then in turn needs to be scaled to read 0 to 100% on the display. The following steps will show us how to plug in the proper parameters to successfully scale this meter. The first step is to select the proper scaling method, key in or applied. The next step is to key in or apply the low input signal. In our example, that would be 4 milliamps. Next, in step 3, we key in our corresponding display reading for the low point, or in our example, 0%. Now the first half of the scaling is complete the low point, or minimum. In step four, we key in or apply our high point input value. In our example, we would enter 20 milliamps. The final step has us key in the appropriate display value corresponding to our high point display value. In our example, that is 100%. Scaling is now complete. No math calculations. All we need to perform linear scaling is four values, low and high input values and low and high display values. Once again, we at Redline Controls would like to thank you for using our help desk. If you need any further assistance, you can access our website at www.redlion-controls.com for the latest news, new product information, technical specifications, application solutions, and much, much more.